going, unfortunately. But he ran a seminar about this book written by Hans Abing, called Why Your Art is Poor. Um, and Hans Abing was actually one of the people who was taken on board by Creative Scotland to, as a kind of advisor to the process of overseeing the manager. And his, one of his hypotheses for um, the future of arts funding is that we would all be better off if funding bodies actually discouraged artists. Um, so that if they discourage artists, there'd be fewer artists and we'd all be able to make a more reasonable living, so we wouldn't be so poor. So that's kind of one of the, the kind of ideas that's gone into something like Creative Scotland, that if we can actually discourage artists from applying for funding, then they'll be able to spread the amount of money that there is um, more um, equally around. So um, there's two things that are kind of in this text which really jumped out and kind of inspired the artist lottery syndicate. The first one is one of Hans Abing's um, hypotheses, and this, there's a whole chapter which is under this title that artists are just ill-informed gamblers. Um, so I do recommend having a look at this book, it is quite an interesting read. But his idea is that there are so many artists in the world because artists have an ill-informed idea of the chances of success. So artists think that there is more chance of them being, there are more opportunities out there and there's more chance of them making it, um, in his terms, than there actually is. So the, the other idea is that um, he talks about this idea of winner takes all markets and he uses all of this jargon which is basically economics jargon because he, he's a Dutch um, economist turned artist, he trained as an economist and then when he was 30 he went to art school so he's kind of got this background in economics but then he was kind of attracted to this like romantic vision of being an artist and decided to go to art school. So this idea of a winner takes all market um, is something that you see in kind of competitive sports um, in, in things like Wimbledon where your winner will get like, I don't know how much they get, probably like a million or half a million um, and then your runner up will get like a small fraction of that and he kind of relates these, this idea of when it takes all market to um, the arts and that you get a very few number of people who actually make lots of money where everybody else is kind of on the bread line and obviously the lottery, the national lottery has the same kind of idea that we were just kind of discussing earlier that nobody really knows anybody who's ever actually won the jackpot, but we see them in the paper every now and again, so we know that they do exist somewhere, and it's that idea, there's that kind of photo of them with the champagne bottle spraying it all over on the big check, which we all hope we'll get to see at some point, it's that kind of vision that kind of motivates people to go in and buy their lottery ticket. Um, so, the idea of the syndicate. Oh, the, so this kind of um, seminar that Pete and McCormie set up was looking at ways for artists to kind of begin to support each other um, and to kind of bypass, I, I guess, um, some of the. Um, bypass some of the, the, the existing systems and to kind of take control of their own destinies and use this, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a slide from the Artist Pension Trust website which was kind of flagged up as an example. But I recommend looking at it because what it is, is kind of pools of artists who come together and form these um, groups where they each donate an artwork which goes into a pool um, each year and then that those, those artworks are then managed and then sold on the market and then distributed evenly between the people in the pool to provide pensions. So it's kind of an organised um, system that kind of plays with the art market for the benefit of the artists whose work it is rather than it getting creamed off by dealers and, and collectors. Um, so I see the artist lottery syndicate as kind of in this way 